Will Maku go win and Schmodown go wild? Or will the wild man fail and the crowd go mild? Today on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. <laughs> Okay, so Paul Yama versus Josh Bakuga. Um, this is a match that up until five minutes ago, I didn't even know was going to happen yet. Um, I I looked at the, the schedule just to make sure that I was wasn't missing something, and um, sure enough, the uh, as of now the date is still question mark question mark question mark. So um, yeah, I, I thought. I, I was going in thinking that it was going to be the Stacy mystery partner versus um, whoever match, but um, yeah, I read that wrong. But um, I was not aware that this match was going to happen, and sure enough, this just kind of came out of nowhere. So um, now that I know about the match, let's talk about the match. Josh Vakuga, um, this was built up from the last uh, post match uh, interview where. Josh is pretty much fighting for uh, employment again. Um, he was suspended after uh, being very brash and harsh uh, to the uh, the movie trivia showdown championship of the world, completely disrespectful. And Sam Levine and Emma smashed the hammer down on his wild berry foot, and uh, apparently now he's getting a chance to uh, redeem himself uh, in the hot seat rather than you know just trying to beg for forgiveness, uh, doing the, no, please have mercy on me, which would never work. Um, so he's now going to play Paul Oyama. Um, Paul uh, had a very, very good showing in his debut match, um, and then played at the free-for-all, which surprising, very surprising to me uh, when I was there, uh, was one of very, very, very many people in the free-for-all that did not have the uh, the showings that I thought they were going to have, and lasted an entire two rounds. Um, that really caught me off guard uh, when that happened. So Paul is obviously now trying to redeem himself after a very lackluster performance. On well, he did have one perfect round the first time he came in, but his second round just wasn't good enough. It ended up getting him eliminated. So. Kind of lackluster, lackluster in terms of how many rounds he went, but overall he still played decent. Um, it just wasn't good enough to go far enough. Um, Josh Bakuga, if he doesn't get any of the categories that go his way, this could be a pretty bad balling, uh, to say the least. Uh, so I'm going in expecting Paul is going to win, but whether he will or not, well, that's what we're going to find out. So, um... Yes, let's get ready to react to this as I wear the Infinity War sh shirt, trolling everybody because I'm wearing the wrong Avengers shirt. But who cares? It's a movie, folks. Uh, so let's wait, not waste any more time. Let's do this in three, two, and one. Hello, Emma. I just yeah. chatted with you. Yeah. Hi. Hi, uh, Grace. Uh, uh, Grace. Uh, no, no. Not particularly. Uh, uh, are we gonna get the reveal, or are they gonna tease us again? Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, yeah. Which, uh, what is this? Uh, this is the current roster of everybody that is active within the Schmodown teams division, of which I am. They probably the had to rip so I'm just the last couple lines from that a little while. For upcoming matches. Good, good. Um, actually, that's perfect because I wanted to talk to you about that. You know, everybody. Is super excited about Stacy and her new partner, yeah, as definitely. they should be. Yeah. I um, actually, I would love to know who Stacy's new partner is going to be. If you're going to tell me who it is, oh no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> of course no. not. Um, but we would like a. Match. What do you take us for? I mean, we've had mystery teammates in the team division before. There's no reason why Stacy can't compete with an unknown partner, assuming said partner exists. It exists. Right, right. So, they do. okay. Uh, well, then, this is the roster right here. Go ahead and take a look and, well, you know, let thanks. me know 
you know, some people in kind of this range here is who you would want to play. Okay. Well, there's a lot of interesting choices. Yeah. I mean, JTE certainly has it coming. Um, <laughs> oh, God. I mean, Snyder. <laughs> would love to shut up Bibiani, I'll tell you that. Um, let's go with these guys. Late to the party? Yeah, late to the party. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give them a call. They, they have to drive from Arizona, but, uh, you know, I think they've been wanting to get back in the game, so. Perfect. Yeah, I'll just call them up and see if they're game. Perfect. Call them up. Okay. Thank you. I'm not sure if I should say you're welcome or not. Very fitting. Very fitting. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. You are looking live from the Collider Studios in Burbank, California. Hello, Mar hello, Marquia. Half the gang's here. Marquia McCarty, Mark Alger, M M M M M M M M M. This match brought to you by M M's and Pepsi. Here's to a good match. Also, I know that you're not really feeling him all that much, but... We, we, we're, we, we're damn near BFFs in real life. It's just when it comes to the schmodown, I always bet against the guy. And because you're really smart. Have, I, I would say at this point, mythological guessing skills. So he is able to pull answers out of his butt. Yeah, it is kind of legendary. That's I a nice that translation. It's kind of like a redemption match that meets gambling. It's like a double or nothing. It, he gets his slate cleaned or he gets extra time added on. So. <laughs> well, it, it's not double or nothing because, because that would mean there's actually a 50% chance that Makugu would win. That's <laughs> not going to happen. Oh, we got to show that again. I'm not even going to look at that part. Is it over? Can have this reversed if you beat Oyama. And okay, it's over. About Paul Oyama, Marquia, there's going to be so many rookies that we're going to see in season six. Mm -hmm. Oyama may be the best of the whole bunch because he came up through the fan leagues, and when he got his chance to make a debut under the White Hot Spotlight, he took on prime time, prime run. time. You ain't no Dion. Right. Yes, he's and a free for all darling. The, definitely. The crowd loves just the mention of the kid, but Oyama the kid. is coming on strong as a heel. Do you see him pulling off the? I guess you would consider it an upset according to the ranking. Consider. Today. You know, I think that primetime Paul Oyama is enough of a shark that he knows that these waters are bloodied. He knows that Josh, well, Makuga, is very thirsty to get his win on, but also uh, Oyama is younger, hungrier, and is behind him at the top of the stairs. So this could literally be anybody's match. You say young and hungry with Oyama, and I agree with you. You say thirsty when it comes to Josh Makuga, and I would also add... I couldn't agree more. Adjectives. <laughs> Let's take a look at the pre-match interviews right now. Ah! You tricked me! You told me pre-match interviews and you make me have to see Makuga with the belt between his cheeks. You lied! You lied! It was more of a shove, a push, if you will. It was in the way of my arms. I've got long arms that are hairy. I know you're already... I got long arms too. But, uh, here's a stipulation. Okay. I'm smacking you. Follow you. Okay. I don't, I don't like that guy. You don't even know who he is. Oh, yeah, but now Paul, he also comes from a family. He thinks that he's even better than Chance Ellison. The Adventures of Tintin, Joe Wright, Jonah Hill. And your winner! That's why they call him Prime. You Prime. win! I, I would say confident, very borderline cocky. What's your plan going forward? I mean, whoever's on the warpath. If you win, suspension over. Paul beats you, I gotta add an extra money. An extra month? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. You aren't going to have a match in that extra month anyway. 
You almost showed it again. Great pre-match interviews. And, and look, Oyama, cool, collected. He, he's focused, but Josh Makuga, it, it just is a buddy of mine. It's nice to see his exuberance. I wonder what that was all about. Bit here, back in the movie trip. Too much language, too much drinking. Not suitable for children. This man loves pastels and can match it like anybody's business. Hey, it's the it, it's the spring season, and Josh Makuga is one of our favorite. Ah, uh, yes, singles title match tomorrow. So at notable accomplishments of these two with Oyama, it's simple. Came up through the fan league and had a very definitive uh, and impressive wearing a salt shirt. You wearing, wearing the Josh salt Kuga. lady, Paul. Notable accomplishments, Marquia. I would just say being the wild man. The wild man is not a person. It has become a state of mind. He's like Batman. It's become a symbol more than a man. Oh goodness. Well, oh, I mean, he was that's the nice. 2014 but finalist. I mean, Batman's he does put the wild and wild berries. Didn't Batman and die a couple man, times? You know, as being part of your docket. So I, I have a lot of feelings for Josh, but with Paul Oyama, I mean, he's determined to be the youngest MTS champion of all time. And I kind of need for that to happen. <laughs> we got some new blood versus one of the you OGs. You need of the it. Marquee, are you ready to go? Oh, I am ready to go. Let's get this started. He's the champion it we for the movie need, but not the one we want right now. So we'll hate it. Batman. Than Batman. Batman. When you are ready. <laughs> Introducing first, with a record of one whoa. win, zero whoa, defeats, whoa, whoa, whoa. he is Oh, Yama. Oh, Yama. It name it Paul Yama. He's the prime time, prime time. I haven't thought up enough lyrics for that. Hey, he's, a, he's still wearing the salty shirt. I just said that. He's not here for your fan affection. He's here to win. No, he, he seems to enjoy and, 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 dare I say, revel in the fact that he does get booze. And some people feed off that negative energy. Yeah, he looks like a stone-cold killer. I am ready for this. Taking a sip for his water, and his opponent needs no introduction, but we'll give him one anyway. Are you sure? His opponent. Representing the Wildberries with a record of eight it wins. Sounds like we're back to the Mildberries. It looks like we are. What is this about? Is it a robe? There we go. That 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 lasted quicker than than the last mild man encounter. Hello, Rachel Silverstraney. I saw you. Bam, bam. Wow. Hey, I think I love you. Damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. fan base on with chance of wild berries and Marquia from those two introductions and seeing these two gentlemen at the desk it looks like less of a trivia show and more like Makuga is about to initiate Oyama into the skulls yep. <laughs> hey, just a quick heads up guys uh, this this pool blazer is brought to you by 209 Mare it's a pool blazer only company uh, if you guys are going to pools <laughs> lakes oceans this summer there's no no blazer quite like 209 Mare you're welcome <laughs> Uh, and the person that bids closest to the actual retail price for going over will win that. And you win a new car! Nobody wants to hear you. I do want to listen to Oyama if it's moving the action along. Makuga used to be sponsored by Loudmouth, and ever since he went to one of the actors from the Fast and Furious franchise's mansions, he seemed to have outclassed even his good buddy Mark Ellis. I had to wear my own jacket coat to this taping. All right, gentlemen, the rules of round number one. Josh, you're no stranger to these. Paul, give you a refresher. Is that you hear eight questions, eight questions from eight different corners of the movie Trivia Schmodown Galaxy in round number one. These questions are asked to the field. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. I will remind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule. Throughout Not the JTE the rule. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. One I dropped though, my board. And I pray Got that too we cocky. Take the match to those levels. And I'm also going to let you all know 
that each question you have about 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer and we would up here at the answer unless you can't come up with the best attempt then the just answer. make a great hey, joke no problem. it's live yeah, television he yes, described in sixth grade, so he just finished his uh, cursive. It's hard, hard, to, hard to be logical when you don't even know the answers. Yeah. It's, uh, good luck. It was good. That was a good retort. It was good. It was good. You tried. You did. It's a battle of age. It's a battle yeah. of wit. I give that We're retort about to get ready. two stars. Uh, Joshua Hercules, the wild man Makuga. You ready to go, bud? Mark, you know what? I was born in a pool blazer and born ready. All right. Paulo Yama, are you ready? Set your clocks. Let's do this. Let's get ready to smoke down. Yay! Okay, we are going to kick off in the world of action slash adventure, and Maria Yay. will be administering... One of many play. categories I will not what know the answer for. the last name of Holly's annoying co-worker that gets himself killed in Die Hard? Oh, wait. Just need the, uh, I do uh, know this. Last name Can you make sure you lead off with categories? Just uh, I said action adventure. Oh, you did. Yeah. I didn't hear it. I'm yeah. sorry. You just, you just play oh, the he game, just, guys. He just dropped Five. down out of my favorite right there. <laughs> I, I wasn't Is this a jab? Because I'm pretty sure it's Ellis. What's your answer? It's Ellis. Ellis. It, it is, in fact, Ellis. <laughs> it is. It is Ellis. That's right. I mean, they start with a diehard question. <laughs> I, I'm one for one. The exact minute and seconds of the movie. And I By the way, it. that watch, it's a Rolex. That is. <laughs> Your next category comes from the world of new releases, Josh. Oh, oh great. These are new releases. Cool. Unless it's Endgame, Movies I've probably not seen it. To see. Yeah, you never took me to. Your question is, which 2018 comedy stars Ed Helms, John Hamm, and Jeremy Renner? I remember seeing one preview for it. One time's up for Mark. I don't remember. Paul. Tag. That's right. I'd like to also say tag. He got it. Brian Perez's favorite movie of all time. I'm gonna just go so much for my perfect round. I can't even buddy thought that was gonna happen. Hey, Mark, I don't know if you noticed this, but Paul's last name, Oyama, leads into a Michael McDonald song, Yomo Be There. Oyamo Be There. All right. See it, guys? Nakuga has just Little lost five points. And I you know. Know. You don't know this much, much about me. And he slipped down to my seventh boom, favorite boom, boom, boom. right then. Be In the category of dramas, Ooh. this Marvel actor played the father, Will Hayes, opposite Abigail Breslin in the oh. 2008 film, Definitely, maybe. I've heard that name before, so oh, I, uh, I'm kind of a song. I think I know who this yeah. is. And, uh, one of my favorite ones in the last movie. Five, mm -hmm. four, oh, they both three, very ready. two, one. Pens down, Josh. Ryan Reynolds. Chris Evans. Uh, that is incorrect. No. Ryan Reynolds. He does have it. Yay! Oyama maintains his perfect round, Josh. Bakuda, I was struggling to wound. spell Reynolds there for a second. Yeah. Okay. Too much right, Pepsi in the veins. World of crime movies. Crime films. In the film Widows, who plays Veronica, wife to renowned bank robber Harry Rawlings? All Widows right, is an excellent was, movie. Did you see Widows? Um, I did, and I was a big, big fan of it. Mm -hmm. It's got to be better than Crystal. The Widow Four, on Amazon. That three, was a train wreck. Two and Bruce. one. Pens down. Paul, what do you got? Uh, we have a lot to do today. Crying is not one of them. Viola Davis. Yes, it is. Oh. It's Josh Abbott. Viola Davis. He I said Emma Stone. <laughs> You hear the oh, I, I, I remember seeing the trailers for that I now. RB3. I didn't see yeah, movie, but it I is Viola Davis. Trailer. Absolutely. <laughs> Your next category. I forgot that was the movie. Fantasy sci-fi. I forgot what it was called. Who directed 2015's Tomorrowland? <sighs> if I, you, you, you're probably too young to remember this, but like mm -hmm. if, if I put you at a blockbuster, which category for you to go to first? Oh, I go to action adventure. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm action adventure person. Five. If it's four, a Thursday, though, I go to Comkeys. Three. Two, Thursdays. One. Pens down. Josh Bakuga. Uh, Brad Bird? Yes. He got it. Yeah. Paul Yama? Brad Bird. Absolutely. Oh, Yama has it too. I would never know a director question unless the question is who directed Jordan Peele's Us? Three questions to go. Whoa, whoa. Your next category. You mean hanging in? You're hanging hanging in. in. Yes, you're hanging in. You're not winning, but you're barely losing. It's like you weren't in my wedding at all. You were just a patron there serving alcohol. Well, I wish I was a Patreon at your wedding. Your next question is in the category. Then I could have said, "Go Ravens." <laughs> You're supposed to. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh right. <laughs> and your question. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. What is the title? What is the title of the third film in Ice Cube's Friday series? 
And I believe uh, RB3 just had a nice uh, bowl of hearty soup. Yes. Got it. Mm -mm, good. I know. RB3 mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Toasty. Quiznos. Two, Friday after three, next. Down, go to Paul. Friday after next. It was Friday Absolutely. after next. Friday after next. Absolutely. I'm gonna have to get yet another marker because they are they're starting to all go bad. Throwing a perfect game right now, Marquis. This might be the last issue of the blue marker. I know he's earning that shark moniker right now. So shark in the category of horror thriller. Since when? No. What famous Universal monster was portrayed by the actors Lon Chaney Jr. and Benicio del Toro? Kind of do you a like spell horrors? cast on the top. You're a big fan of horror. Yeah, right. That cemetery. Because you messed me up. Five. The original or the, the original has a new one. I Four, know the original. Three. Oh shit. Two, no. one. Josh, you're not a horror fan. Did you have the answer? Dracula. Is it Wolfman? Yeah. It is the Wolfman. Oh. Paul have it? Wouldn't have mattered. The Wolfman. Paul had it as well. Excellent. I said Dracula, but I was I wanted so for a second there I thought it would, might have been the fan of the opera, but glad it didn't matter. <laughs> and Oyama, if he answers this question right, will have a perfect round number one. And that question is in the world of animated movies. Oh, okay. Uh, animated movies, movies drawn by hand or on a computer. And your question is, in what Pixar film does Sigourney Weaver provide the voice of a character called Ship's Computer? Maybe the toughest one on the category yet today. Oh. Uh, in my estimation, anyway. But oh, I watch a lot of animated movies. So yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Inside out. Pens down, go to Paul. Finding Dory. That is incorrect. Oh. Makuga. Wall E? Yeah. Oh. It is, in fact, Wall E. Wow. Here comes the first Makuga oh. dancer. There he goes. He is I oh, got an animated question oh. wrong that Josh Who got is? right. It, we, we, wow. we it's a low moment in JTH history. Makuga giving everybody a hug because he is tied with Paul Uyama after round number one in Marquia. He's still hanging in there. match was that can Makuga match wits with the kid known as the shark? I feel like Tommy Lee, I'm going to throw my drumstick. I know, this is, this is amazing. He's just, uh, he was Didn't dancing all around. He wanted well. everybody to fill that Here's neck line on that pool back. blazer. <laughs> All right, and so now we collect our thoughts and ourselves. We apologize to anyone in the front row who did not wear a poncho to today's event. Mm. And we move mm. on to round That's number right. two. That's all right. I'm safe. In round number two, this Unless is I the spill wheel this. Round, the Wheel of Fate, Doom, and Justice. Each competitor gets one spin at the wheel. If you don't like the category you spin, you are awarded a mulligan, which is golf for do-over. Once you settle on a category, you're going to hear But you are shamed upon Those from using mulligans in golf. Worth two points. There's Unless no you're Leslie Nielsen, then it's However, bad golf made easier. Available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer to the question, you can ask us for multiple choice. Mm -hmm. We'll give you four options, one of which is correct. At that point, the value of the question goes down to Never one. pick up a lost so ball it a while it is still rolling. Between bam, 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 bam. and Josh, the bam, 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 versus bam. the wild man. But Josh, you come into today's match against all odds the favorite. Don't Would know how that happened. That Who screwed that up? bruises on face instead of favorite. Uh... You know what? Beauty before age is what they say, right? That is a expression. That's so. the reverse way and to say that expression, <laughs> yes. You, you know, listen, Marquia, I like you, and I like your smart You just slipped like down to my 10th favorite. It's pretty smart. 10th <laughs> <Tenth laughs> favorite. <laughs> All Why right, Paul Oyama going to the spin. Why a Mary? wheel slice yes. is Why sponsored on there, and that is Tom Cruise. Th this know, must have ha this Tom match Cruise, must have happened before he... Just the graced the, the belt. And uh, he has spun He's spy fun. movies. Paul, yes. it's a fine spin. No listen to your counterpart. Paul, would you like to spin again, or do you want to keep spy movies? He's right. run I like that it's like a spy versus spy, even though spy versus there, spy has never had one single movie Tom made about them. So. Yes. Why is that, too? And Oyama, oh, oh, he got classics. Classics. Oh, he actually looks happy well, with that. He right. said that was happy his with it. Classics. I'd rather get classics. The is indeed ready to eat some well, classics. And Mark, a really big really fat zero for JTH in this round. Maybe not a strength of his counterpart, so not a lot of stealing mm. available. I will be asking... Uh, in 1926's The General. Your first of four in the world of classics is... In the film, It Happened One Night. What is the profession of the character played by Clark Gable? He's a reporter. He is a reporter for two points. 
Okay. I just learned something today. One night I never saw that movie. Didn't hmm. see it. Yeah, I didn't. I don't see anything before 84. 34. Next question for Paul. Who was the director of 1954's On the Waterfront? Elliot Kazan. That is correct for two more points. <laughs> you sound so disinterested, Paul. Did he say Elliot or Elia? It's Elia. He said Elia. He said Elia Kazan. I'd like to play back. Do we have a playback button on there? <laughs> play back? Anybody? Your next question, Paul. Your okay. penultimate one in this category. Who directed Singing in the Rain alongside Gene Kelly? Rest in peace, Stanley Donan. Yes, he did. And this is, is an excellent category. My apologies, my Leon. apologies to Stanley Donan. I have no idea who that person is. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> what a shame. A perfect round here, and he has a chance to seal it with two points if he can get this question, his last in round number two. In which classic did James Cagney smash a grapefruit into Meg Clark's face? Four, three, two. Repeat the question. In which classic did James Cagney smash a grapefruit into May Clark's face? White Heat. That is incorrect for a very unlikely steal, Josh Makuga. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so it's not Grapefruit King or Five, Grapefruit Monster. Four. I'm going to go three, us. S uh, two s little Caesars. Well, it was a great guess. It's incorrect. The public enemy. I was gonna say the that. Public I'm enemy. sure you were. <laughs> and I was getting ready to wonder why Paul didn't go multiple choice, and then I'm like, oh yeah, his opponent don't know anything about classics, so wh why risk giving him a free point? Classic movie, so that's a win right there. Makuga feeling all the right strides. Is Little Caesar a movie? Uh, it, yes. It's a <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's really that. That's where we're in the heat of the night. I just named a classic. Yay! I'm smart. So here comes Makuga. But it looks like the classics love him. Dancing, dancing to his own beat. He the disco dancing to. Oh, woo! Very close. Coming of age movies. Josh, do you want to keep coming of age, or would you like to spin again? Ooh, is he gonna stay with that, or is no? He, he wants new releases because he, he loves new movies. Asking for the crowd him for their participation. Josh, will we, he gamble or will he stay? Are gonna need an answer here. He's gonna oh. keep. There we go. I, I really don't blame him. There's a whole lot of blah on there for his standards. Mark, he will be administering the questions, Josh. Sorry. And love Simon. Who plays Simon's father, Jack? Oh no. <laughs> Um, oh, yes. Let's go multiple choice. Oh, yes. A, Jason Bateman. B, Timothy Oliphant. C, Rain Wilson. Or D, Josh DeHamel. I believe DeHamel. it's D, Josh Dumel. You're correct. It is D, Josh Dumel. It is D, Josh Dumel. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that name in real life. Uh, back in the day, I used to pronounce it Duhamel, and I stick by Duhamel. Uh, <laughs> you're pronouncing it incorrect across the board. It's Tad Hamilton. We all know that. <laughs> Good one to date with him. Todd Hamilton, the winner of the 2004 British here. Open? Is that, that Todd Hamilton? dance classic. When Tony Monero isn't dancing, where does he work in a dead-end job? Uh, oh, it's, um... Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah! I think it's a hardware store. I mean, his hair is sweet, so maybe a yeah. Gonna go to five. five. I'm pretty. Four, to work on three. The Let's go multiple choice. Is it A in a butcher shop? Ooh. Yeah. B, hardware in store. A hardware store. Ah. Wasn't sure how to C, describe it, but I guess it's a hardware mm -hmm. store. D in a restaurant. Well, it's got to be a dead end job, right? Yeah. Sure. And I don't want to insult anybody working in any of these places. But in the '70s, I feel like it's more like in your five, dad's garage. Garage. Four. That Three. is incorrect. Farts. Okay, so for the steal, we're going to give you the options again, uh, Paul. Is it A, in a butcher shop, B, in a hardware store, C, in a garage, or D, in a restaurant? Is it a restaurant? Also incorrect. Yeah, we're it's for actually in a hardware store. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. I got something that Paul didn't sign me up. No, please don't. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers. For Josh in round number two. 
Who plays the adult version of Haley Joe Osment's character in Secondhand Lions? What movie? Secondhand Lions? Can I skip? Is that a movie? Does anybody want to? You mean Second secondhand lions smoke? Or lions? It's gonna go to five. five, four. You be lying about lions. Jesus, these are coming of age movies. Is in it what A. Age? Matthew McConaughey, B. Josh Lucas, C. Luke Wilson, or D. Viggo Mortensen? Who looks the most like Haley Joel Osment? Uh, Does it matter? Like Josh Lucas. That is correct. <laughs> you lucky bastard. The king of guessing. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's... Who cares if he looks like really Haley Joe? He could dye his hair. And, he finds himself and then and Kaling then he's Oyama Dolph Lundgren. So we're definitely going to round three. There's no knockouts happening here today. And Josh Bakuga, if he gets this one right, can pull within two of Pauliyama. But the steel is still in play. Let's see what happens. Rob Reiner directed what 2010 movie about two eighth graders who start to have feelings for each other despite being total opposites? What? 2010 movie with eighth graders? Oh, no. We go to five. You forgot four, to say that, Josh. Me. Is it A, Palo Alto, B, Submarine, C, Flipped, D, The Runaways? B. Feels like another guess. Who knows? I know. Here. Let's see how this goes, though. He is powered by Rose and whiskey. I mean, I feel All like right. the, some of those Four. even sound made. I'll go with summering. Three. Flipped. Oh, cool. Thanks, Paul. For the steal, it was. Yes. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the shark didn't even wait. <laughs> no, he uh, picked the, up the slack. The shark. Quite quickly, with the answer being flipped. Why is he the shark now? He started his prime steal, time. Now he's the shark. Eighteen to nine. Oyama with a solid lead going into round three, but as we've seen in the past of the movie trivia showdown, Marquis, anything is possible hey, once we enter into in round three. Don't pick coming of age movies because <laughs> none of the ones you think are going to be in there. Better. Yeah, yes. unfortunately, this gamble might not have worked. And you have no idea what's really a coming of age movie. He still has the rest of this. Uh, Unless it's in Spider Man, in Spider Man, in Spider Man, and in the movie Spider Man. He accepted it. You got to wonder what could have been, but that's all in the past now. We move in to round number three. And you guys have my valet ticket. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Not before you answer up to three questions. And Good. Three questions will Make him suffer. 20 different movie trivia categories. Here's how we get them. Y'all each give us a series First of you pick two. Three and then you win. You range from, as I said, one and if you don't, first question is well then you'll lose. Points. Your next question is worth three points. It's and your last simple question, as that. Make it that far, is worth five points points if oyama does not have to answer a question in round number three this will be credited as a technical knockout but knowing josh makuga the way i do he'll get knocked out it's actually a possibility <laughs> yeah all right so josh it's been gonna... great hanging with you guys again see you in four months all right josh we're gonna get your numbers uh, after we get paul's Kay. um paul your three numbers are eight 17 and 12. no hesitation there at all he knew exactly no what he wanted hesitation and 12 and josh which three athletes would you like to borrow numbers from Hmm. Three, nine, and uh, one. Very three powerful nine. numbers. And I threw one. you guys for a loop there, didn't I? The power right, of so one. We'll be asking uh, Josh his questions, and we go to your two-point question, Josh. And Marquis, Ooh. when you are ready. And this is the category romance. For your two-point question, bow, bow, bow. who directed oh, Christ. If Beale Street Could Talk? Oh, no. Oh, oh wait, no. Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Five. Who directed Four. Jordan Peele's Us? Three. Where's I that question? That's a, that is, I'm sorry. That's not Christ. right. Ugh. That is incorrect. Jenkins. Look at the Barry, Barry Jenkins. Jenkins. Barry That's Jenkins. Barry also Jenkins. directed Moonlight. I don't pay attention to things that don't explode. <laughs> Christ. The, it didn't even it. take place with walking in Memphis. Yeah. Hmm. All right, Interesting. Now, Josh, uh, Walk in with my teeth ten feet off a of beal. It wasn't even in the movie. It's going to be a matter of if Josh can recover from that early misstep and rebound with his three-point question, which would be mm. within two of Oyama. So, Marquia, when you're ready, Josh has his three-pointer. Wait till I insult the audience one more time. Let's see it. 
This Actually, is two. Question in the Gotta be honest. Drew Barrymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Her movies aren't directed by Barry Jenkins, so I should be fine. What movie did Drew Barrymore play Daniela in this 1998 Cinderella adaptation? Oh, no. What was that called? RB3, help me out. What was that one called? Uh, you're not allowed to solicit help from any of our crew. Was it, was it called Ever After? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> the guessing continues. <laughs> Even though that wasn't really that hard. That was really a two-pointer. No My apologies to Barry Jenkins and all of his films. I, they're fantastic. I just always forget who directs every movie ever. Yeah, and then actually that is a very good movie in its own right. It it's is one of those rainy day movies. It, it, it's a good, I've never seen it myself. I hear good things. I don't know if Josh has ever seen it, but look, all of a sudden now he pulls within two of Oyama. Paul still does not have to answer a question because Josh has to force his hand with this five-point question. In the Hello? category of Die Hard. <laughs> Your five-point question in the category of 70s movies. <laughs> uh, don't think a Die Hard movie happened then. <laughs> Have a nice day. Are you trying to get in my head? You guys are at Listen, Captain Kickass over here knew, like, movies from the 30s, okay? I don't even know what year Saturday Night Fever came out. Come on! The 70s? All right. Oh, okay. Some question about some... Uh, just give him the win. And your winner, Paul Oyama. Come on. Released in 1978. <laughs> yeah. Fist is the story of union boss Johnny Kovac. Who plays Kovac? Wait, what? All right, you, you can't just say what. Would you like oh, to Oh, no. Role? Yeah, okay, Mark. Take it easy over there. Yeah. <laughs> Use a JTE roll. Play it again. Released in 1978. Fist is Fist? the story. F I S T. Okay, never heard of it. Go ahead. Is the story of union boss Johnny Kovac. Who plays Kovac? All right, so there's like four people that are famous in the 70s. <laughs> it's, it's sound it out, there's a few more than Kovac. that, but okay, you're on the right track. We got like Gene Hackman, Jack Nicholson, go to five, four, Ned Beatty, four, Danny three. DeVito. Repeat the question one more time. Released in 1978. Great year. F I S T yeah. is the story of union boss Johnny Kovac. Who plays Kovac? He's clearly he's exhausted with JTE rules. Yeah. He's heard the question. He knows the question. But he said there's only so many All people. Right, you know that what? Are I'm famous. just gonna go. I'll say Gene Hackman. Your winner, Paul the Shark Oyama. Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone is the answer we were looking for. Yes. Sylvester Stallone. It was, it was impressive guesswork, though. <laughs> Josh, guess A Stallone movie that Makuka has never heard of. Paul Oyama had already disappeared yep. Yep. from the. Oh, book, but here's oh somebody, dear. The yes. commissioner. Oh saying, dear. Okay, now. If Makuga lost this match, Sam, yeah. you had previously stipulated that he would be banned for two months. Two months. Two I months. think I deserve that after not knowing Barry Jenkins. So. Yeah. Uh, or or yeah, a Stallone I'm movie. Get more, but I'm going to stick with what I said before. We'll see in two months. Okay, kid. no problem. Go watch some Barry Jenkins movies. Yep. Talk to you guys later. And, and, and watch that uh, Stallone uh, movie, thank Fist. Thank you for coming. Thank you guys so much. I apologize for Paul, Paul Oyama. That guy knows way too much about movies at that young of an age. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your whiskey. Happy Saturday. All right, well, and now they're cheering him. It's like he never disgraced the belt. Seen the likes of Makuga for a couple months, but you look at this match today, and Makuga did what Makuga is very good at doing. He guessed his way into a competitive match, but Pauliyama too much. Sounds like something I do. Think maybe he left a little bit on the table. No, I think the shark definitely cleaned up the chum that was in the waters. Caught on the shark again. It's prime time. He's he's fake Dion. He knew that he didn't want that first spin off the wheel. He knew that second spin was going to be perfect for him not only was it something that he knew but he reasoned that it was something that his opponent did not know yeah paulo yama I, I think a well-played match and again he didn't have to answer any round three questions mm -hmm. so his point total 14 to 12 a little misleading there josh bakuga all the props in the world to my good buddy the wild man and now we're going to have an interview with both the winner and the loser of today's match with our own jen sturger jen take it away what's up movie trivia Schmodown what's up jen, jen? here with paulo yama classics really 
Really? I, I was actually really impressed with how you handled that. I was like, oh, he's really going to take that. Could have been better, but, you know. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you did just take down one of the veterans in the league. How are you feeling after that? You're 2-0 and now. Yeah, I mean, we're ready to keep cracking. It's going to be the next match. Okay, so who are we thinking? Hey, Chance, the mute Ellison, whoa, can you just whoa, please chance? do your job? Yeah, Chance? You want Chance. I mean, yeah. I mean, he still has to get through either Emma or Rosie, but... Yeah, that is a big if, you're right. But if he can do his job, I'd love to put the kid in his place. I mean, come on. Why come Chance? On. Why Chance? This guy got the shot before me. He doesn't deserve to be here. Are you kidding me? He's out here wobbling, barely beating Janine, struggling along. Like, come on. All right, we'll <laughs> see what I can do for you. If you can do that, it's much appreciated. Oh, Coogs. <laughs> what do you what do you got there? It's I'm shocked you kept the room. robe on the whole time. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it's, that it's a post match celebration of sorts. Uh, so I'm Josh, you won. I know, but here let me let me let me <laughs> go with this for a second, okay? Um, you know, uh, when you when your favorite movie is Fist, and uh, you it don't would be. you know, and uh, you know, 1978 was a great year for the Makugas. Uh, huge Fist fans out there, just always about the Fist. Uh, big, like we were always going to like fisting reunions, all that kind of stuff. So love fist. It's such a good movie starring who was in it? Stallone. Oh, Stallone, right? Because he was in a movie that wasn't Rocky until what? '88? Are you kidding me? Fist, <laughs> fist. I think Rocky fist. was '76. Yeah, actually, it, let me ask you a question. Honestly, no. Thank you. <laughs> have you ever heard of the movie Fist until today? No. Never. Thank you very much. And have you heard of Sylvester Stallone until today? Yes, of course. Okay. And have you heard that Sylvester Stallone was in a movie called Fist? Thank God you ended that sentence the way it ended. Correct. <laughs> no. No, you did it. And you know who else did it? Everybody else that watches the movie Trivia Schmodown. Okay? The movie Fist is silly. Nobody ever names a movie Fist unless it's a porn and you're weird. Okay? So Fist can go fist itself. What else you got, Jen? That's about it. Back to you guys. No, no, this interview isn't over yet, RB3. We're going to keep going. Jen, get back here. You get back here right now. I don't get to talk to you for two months. Two whole months. Yeah, have a little bit of that. It's whiskey time, everybody. Oh Let me God. tell you a little something about Paul Oyama. Oyama, never going to play that guy again. He doesn't have any fun. He wears sunglasses inside, which is a rule against humanity. You never wear sunglasses inside unless you have an eye condition and your eyes hurt from light. And I don't think his dude because after the match, he took the sunglasses off. What else you got, Jen? But you aren't really supposed to wear shorts with blazers, though, right? You can wear shorts with blazers anytime you want. This is a pool blazer, and the only prop appropriate bottoms are shorts. Cody Hall knows it, RB3 knows it, and so is JTE. You sure it's not Random. Like six months the way you're going? <laughs> I'm not yelling at anybody else what are but you the gonna, movie Fist. What are you going to do with your time off, I guess, is the best question. Oh, there's question. so much. Uh, you know, my wife's going to drink, 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 for a while. Drink. We were thinking about uh, driving up the 118, see what happens up there, like Inland Valley. Uh, it can get windy, maybe a little desert, maybe a Best Western out in the desert. You never know. In two months, anything could happen. I could watch a lot of movies and learn who directors are. Because i got to be honest, I apologize to Barry Jenkins and everything he's done. A very important director in movies today. I just don't know who directs anything. Seriously, I've got nothing. Outside of Spielberg. And you could probably give me a Spielberg movie, and I'd be like, I don't know, Zemeckis, and I would probably get it wrong. I don't know directors, and that apparently is a weak point in me, and everybody else seems to know who directors are. I got nothing. But I tell you what I did get, Jen. Nothing. Ever After, starring Drew Barrymore. That was a good pull. Isn't, wait, hold on. And another thing, Jen, you're, you're great. You're fantastic. You're great at doing this. Did you know half of those coming-of-age movies? Like, when I think of coming-of-age movies, I think of, like, Never Been Kissed. I think of Goonies. I think of Edge of Seventeen. Breakfast. Breakfast Club, thank you very much. Uh, Outsiders, all of those kind of movies. Flipped? Rob Reiner got paid like 150 k and a bag of weed to direct Flipped. I never even heard of it. Flipped? It sounds like Flippers, alter ego brother Flipped. And he's like, he doesn't have half a torso. You're like, no, that's actually Dolphin Tales starring Morgan Freeman. So now it doesn't even make any sense. Sorry I yelled. I think I broke everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank you for all the hard work that you do. So for the next two months, everybody, check out all your uh, Schmodown-related stuff and follow me on social media where I will be uh, just having a good time making random comments about certain things that probably don't have anything to do with movies, maybe a little more TV. And to you, Barry Jenkins, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Keep making great movies that don't have that song, Walking in Memphis. Back to you guys. 
All right, Marquis, you see that? That's the that's the typical enthusiasm and interview really between Josh and Jen that we're accustomed to. Uh, we're gonna miss that guy for a couple months. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we're gonna be uh, definitely. Or it'll be like he was never there around here <laughs> without having uh, some Akuga in our lives. But he's not out completely. He's just out for two months. It's like a sabbatical. He can, you know, brush up on his reasoning skills and bring back that legendary charm and guesswork when he's back. Yeah, and he can catch if Bill Street could talk. It's a really good movie. Now, when you look at Oyama, I mean, it, sometimes when a competitor wins a match, they say, I'll take on anybody. And I think Oyama's up for whoever his next competitor is, but he clearly wants a shot at chance. He said as much. The two they, they both came up through the family, so they have a similar track getting here. And if that matchup does indeed take place, first of all, a local gas station will be sold out of sunglasses because <laughs> those gentlemen <laughs> like their shades. And I think it's going to be an all-time classic if we get it. Yes, I, I'm looking forward to the destruction <laughs> and the wake of uh, Paul the Shark Oyama. In fact, I think he started the, off the as shark a again. Match prime time. He is yeah. now the shark. We're calling him the shark now because no, Oyama I refuse. here today in a technical knockout over Josh, the wild man, Maku. You guys, make sure that y'all check out TriviaSD.com for all the latest goings on in the world of the I did, but you didn't tell me what match this was supposed to be. You lied, you lied. My partner in crime, Marquia McCarty, thank you so much for making your debut with me on the answer desk. Where can all the kids out there find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Marquia Here, here. And if you love DC Universe, you can see me on DC Daily. I'm a host there Monday through Friday. Marquia crushing it in all corners of the entertainment world right now and she enjoys a hearty ipa <laughs> as i am well aware i am merely mark baby carrots ellis you can get the tickets to upcoming comedy shows at markelloslive.com check out the movie trivish mode on podcast on himalaya and in the, if you want to join the world of the movie trivish mode and you want to get more involved we have a patreon just go to the movie trivia schmodown patreon and select which tier is right for you for mark Ian mccarty and christian harloff i am merely mark ellis thank you guys for tuning in we'll see you real soon Hmm. Handsome boy. What, what nothing, nothing. I was just making sure everything's in inventory check. What's up? That was weird. Uh, listen. Emma's been giving me the whole runaround with the team. Oh, no, no, no. That's not my bag. I, that's I, between listen, you and her. I, I know. That's not what I'm here about. Mm. Listen, I'm talking about the singles league. Yeah. So, Janine, you know, she beat Stacy. She's uh -huh. coming up in the ranks. And I hate corruption with a deep down rooted passion. Oh, you're totally right. Bunch of jerks. They're just horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Repugnant. So listen, I want Janine versus Kalinowski. Can we do that? Wait, you mean I just, <laughs> Janine versus mm -hmm. my? That's it. You got him. You know what, you're pretty good at this. Hey, thanks buddy. You're pretty good at it too. You go back to having right. a fantasy. Yeah, I'll see you around. Go, go back to massaging your belts. Let me get you a fresh tub of polish. You deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you, Sam. Uh, go massage your belt some more. Thank you, Jay and Jen and Josh and Paul and Marquia and Mark and crew and and alcohol because apparently alcohol it really drives this show. Um, so yeah, prime time shark, whatever the hell they're gonna call him. Um wins he's the winner that's the more important nickname right now the winner um he gets the win he calls out chance again me personally i hope that match doesn't happen anytime soon i, I just want them to keep building and building and building and building for months and months and months and months and, and maybe if everything goes right then you can have him play in the ultimate showdown to me that would be the perfect time for that for that match to happen just go the next four months it never happening and <laughs> then you just put them together in that match and, and then there there's your match so um yeah so the the match itself was was pretty entertaining um josh did what josh does drink get a bunch of questions wrong uh pull some answers out of his uh his you know what and and came up just short so um Goodbye, Josh. Uh, we'll see you in two, three, four, six, however many months. Um, probably wouldn't have had any matches by that point anyway. So, 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 you know, it's one of those 
suspensions that don't really hold much weight. But what can you do? It, it's it's a story. Just go with it. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, some other day, depending on when you ever see this, um, the singles championship match uh, will be upon us. Dangerous Dan Merle will be defending his championship against the number one contender and challenger, William the Beast Bibiani, the man with tons of momentum versus the man with a lot of momentum. So which person wins? Which person has had a better run? Well, we'll find out uh, come tomorrow. So always watch their content first. It's the right thing to do. Follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1 if you so choose. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe to all my content if you so choose to do that as well. Um, follow all the official movie trivia showdown um, criteria, uh, the Facebook page, the Twitter, uh, at the showdown. Become a Patreon if you can. It goes a long way. And Discord for any of the Patreon supporters. Um, and join the official Movie Trivia Showdown website at TriviaSD.com. Uh, so, with that said, I'm JTH. Thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, I bid you adieu-adieu.